Last time I talked about Tsubasa, I was disappointed. There were a lot of bugs that needed fixing, and it was simply taking the dev team too long to do it. And instead of focusing on fixes, they were focused on adding a new currency to the game and working on DLC characters. Well, a patch dropped this week, so it is my duty to check it out. As it's usual with anime games, the official patch notes are very vague, but over on the wiki, people seem to have been checking out what this patch does exactly. And one of those things seems to be the Skylab block has been fixed! Also across the board, they seem to be nerfing combo shots and aerial shots too. I'm not too sure about combo shots, but aerial shots, I 100% agree. It's much easier to cross the ball and get an aerial shot than a normal shot, mainly because your defense sucks at intercepting the ball or contesting it in the air. So it's fair that these shots are weaker. My criticisms in the last video kind of boil down to fix the Tachibana twins bug and fix your online because the experience in most matches is just terrible. So let's see if they fixed it. Ah, my first opponent doesn't seem to have read the patch notes. He's still running the twins. Perfect test scenario. All right, let's make a good run with Diaz. Probably gonna cross it in. Yup, there you go. Oh, and it's a combo shot with Huga. Let's see how badly this got nerfed. You know what? That's still a decent chunk of stamina drained from my goalkeeper. That's not bad at all. My turn now. Get the ball on Schneider. Oh, easy sliding tackle. Big shot incoming. There are no Tachibana twins on sight. and the shot goes straight to Muller. He did a special save, so I'm not gonna get anything out of this, but no touchy on the twins, this is looking good. Half time, not much happened, but I'm getting the hang of it back. Let's go. He really likes moving the ball forward with Diaz. Zeto! Nicely done, it's a bit crowded here, so let's get the ball to Carlos. Cross, nice, Schneider. Once again, no touchy on the twins, and Muller is taking hits. Looking good, gonna get another shot here. Muller can't even hold it anymore, let's keep it going. You know, if you just keep running with Diaz, you get really predictable. Big pass. Nice, Schneider got it. Oh, skilled pass two players? Big shot. And no Tachibana twins again. Muller's still super strong. There didn't seem to be any mention of balancing goalkeepers, so that part of the game still remains the same. All right, game's almost over. Let's pop our V-Zone. Get one final shot with Schneider. Muller's pretty drained by now. Ah, uh, he still had his V-Zone. Well, we couldn't get the win, but overall, I'd say the patch was successful in fixing the Tachibana twins. Next match. Oh, this team is a bit stronger, huh? Seems like we got matched with someone from the Gold League. All right, let me just skill Tsubasa while he isn't controlling him. We're gonna have to run a crossing play here. There's no space in the middle. Oh, Schneider didn't shoot. Let's just get a normal fire shot from close range. Huh? Why did that go in? Did he come out with a keeper? Oh, that must have been it. That little Muller spaz? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. This is a pretty laggy match. I can't take the ball from this guy. Look, I'm right on top of him. Just tackle. It worked out. Let's do some work with Carlos. Huh? This is gonna be a really tough match. My opponent does decent passing plays, but I just cannot tackle because of lag. Excuse me, where did my defender go? Why did he just move out of the way? Fix the AI, please. Dude, dude. Dude! Oh, this is awful. I can't stop him at all. Well, it should go both ways, right? L let's take what we can get here. Oh, Carlos, get it. Cross it in. I don't know what's wrong with Muller this time. He didn't come out of the goal. He just didn't try to save it. So I'm just gonna blame the lag here. Yeah, this game really doesn't handle lag well. Even the AI seems to freak out. Like, my defender again. Why are you running away? We're gonna have to use our special save here. All right, we survived, and uh, I can hear the special safe sound going again for some reason. I intercepted that, but okay. Oh, that's going in. We almost survived half time. Let's observe the defensive AI in its natural habitat. Should you try to intercept a ball? Nah, let's just run like a headless chicken. That seems like a better idea. I can't trust my defender, so I gotta control the last guy manually, even if I had the other chances to take the ball. Oh, duel, time to mash. I really don't like the mash, by the way, but it is what it is. He wins. Oh, no. 
And I had my V gauge full. I could have used that. Dumbass, I forgot. I mean, if I can't tackle the ball, this game becomes pretty easy for my opponent, right? Yeah, I, I should have used my V skill again. Sorry, I'm rusty, okay? Uh-oh, we're gonna have to use that V skill now. Let's not forget it this time. It's a super shot. Oh wait, my gauge isn't full anymore because I'm playing like garbage. Okay. What did we learn? Tachibana Twins bug seems fixed. Online can still suck big time though. Honestly, it took quite a while to find the second match, so it might have just been the game going, hey, we couldn't find anyone near you, so we're gonna give you this opponent who probably lives really far away from you. But other than those online changes, something that completely caught me off guard was a new story mode route for new hero. You can now select a fourth school, Otomo, which means you have a brand new story to play through, and it's completely free. Or at least it's new until they reach the international championship. At that point, all stories kind of converge but still it's a new route if you're trying to make a full team of players you don't have to just keep repeating the same content i made a new character mr azvedu here played through the entire thing and i'd say the quality of this route it's on the same level as the other stories and as vid came out great i already made him a part of my main team he's taking the place of schneider and look at him taking shots on his very first online match i think he even scored on his first match uh oh you hate to see it okay hang on was there a tachibana twin between me and the the goal. No, there wasn't. But there's one right there to the side, which might still be in range. I I'm gonna say this one is legal. Skylab block was fixed, but doesn't mean it's gone. If you want to run the twins as defenders, then you can still block shots, and I think that's fair. Now, I didn't just do a couple of games, I played a bunch more, both offline as well as on stream. By the way, twitch.tv slash globku, give me a follow, link down below. And from my experience, here's how I can summarize this patch. Tachibana twins bug is fixed. They still work, but it's not that cheesy strategy anymore. It's gone, rejoice, that alone is giving the online a new life for me. Air shots and combo shots got nerfed in general. While I mostly agree with this, goalkeepers needed a little nerfing too. Because now it's much harder to score goals if the opponent has Muller, Wakabayashi or Hernandez. There are just less ways to drain their meter. They nerfed the offense without touching the defense, so obviously that was gonna happen. And ultimately it just leads to a lot of 0-0 scores. The new story route is excellent, on par with the other school stories and it's completely free which means it's a hard recommend for me. And the DLC characters are probably the least interesting part of the update for me. I didn't get the DLC because I eventually want to make a full Portuguese team, so I don't care about the new characters. That said, I could still get their skills from my custom characters if I bought them, but again, it's just not appealing to me. I did play against these DLC characters a bunch, and my first impressions are that the goalkeeper isn't that strong, he's not going to replace any of the top three keepers in game. Levin, the midfielder, is extremely average, his moves look cool, but the character is all right at best. And finally, Bunak, the defender. Now, Bunak seems really strong. It's not easy getting past him. He might be on par with John and Alberto as a defender. Overall, this patch is a great step in the right direction, but unfortunately, it doesn't fix the worst part of Tsubasa, which is still the netcode. Most of the matches I get are still a laggy mess, and this game handles lag terribly. It doesn't just affect your own ability to react and tackle the ball effectively. It messes with everything. It messes with the AI. It messes with animations. The game gets so janky if there is lag. And fix Fixing the netcode isn't easy, I get it, but there is an easy solution to all of this, which is just let me see the connection before I accept the match. You know, like every other competitive online game ever. Let me see how many bars I have with this next opponent so I can decide to accept the match or not. Bonus points if you tell me if they're on Wi-Fi, because honestly, I would rather not play the game at all than play it like this. But credit where credit's due, this is a great patch for Tsubasa. Doesn't fully fix it, but makes it a lot better for sure. For more Globku playing anime games, give me a follow on Twitch. I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Link down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku, and I'll see you next time. Bye!